Yes, I grew up here on this farm and until I went into the Navy, I got drafted and I went to Little Rock with a bunch of other boys. I got my commission through ROTC at the University of Arkansas as a second lieutenant. And so I went in, I got to go into navigation school from there and I made it, that's my final hitch in life. <laughs> so I got 22 years service total, Korean War and the Vietnamese War. Of course I was in World War II. And my uncle was the, he uh, run some cattle on my farm uh, before I retired and I joined the uh, Farm Bureau before I retired, about a year before, you know. When I got out of the Air Force, when I retired, October 66, why well, I started going to the meetings and they made me a board member. I didn't know just a regular member was supposed to go to the meetings, you know. And I, so I started going and they made me a board member right, right there. Well, in the later part, I got a chance to buy my dad's land and the land that belonged to his brother. And I, I bought that, and uh, it just looked like a pretty good way to retire. So I, yeah, I wanted. I had to. I had a start of cattle, registered cattle purchased before I retired. I came back and went to Missouri and bought the registered acres cattle and then I had a, some of them on hand on the start. So I raised registered, registered acres cattle for a long while and then I finally got tired of read all the paperwork and all that stuff so I uh, ended up uh, well, I ended up just crossbreeding, you know. No, I just, this cattle was all I ever dealt with. I, they tried to get me to go into the dairy business, and tried to get me to build chicken houses, and I, I thought cattle, I wanted to have a little time off, you know. And I raised cattle till I got to be 90. <laughs> and I sold my cattle to, to Jim, my stepson, Jim McFarland. 